Oh, and you're getting your first views of reentry. This is live, uh, and if you're in California, you can go see this with your own eyes. There we have visual confirmation of drogue deploy. Visual two healthy drogues. Kind of a cool Dragon shot. Copies. I think we had the recovery vessel in the background there just momentarily. There we can see visual confirmation of deployment of the four visual mains. Visual four healthy mains. These main parachutes help decelerate the spacecraft even further. So they deploy around 119 miles per hour and help, they'll decelerate it down to about 15, 16 miles per hour. Splashdown of Crew 11. After 167 days in space, Dragon and NASA astronauts Zena Cardman and Mike Fink, Kimya Yui of JAXA, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platinov are back on Earth. Dragon, SpaceX, we see splashdown. SpaceX, Dragon, copy, concur. Splashdown and mains are cut. We are in 4.800. And you just heard that call out from the core in Hawthorne, California to the crew aboard Dragon that the SpaceX personnel who have been in the general vicinity of Dragon's anticipated splashdown location now have the go to approach the spacecraft and begin that recovery process. And uh, we can see the recovery vessel continues to approach Dragon Endeavor and the recovery team there on the vessel standing by. Side hatch is facing forward for the crew to egress. It'll be moved into the hangar underneath that helipad that you see illuminated in green on the top of the ship uh, and then pulled towards the uh, mezzanine area so that the crew can be helped outside of the hatch. You can also see uh, facing forward, that is Dragon's side hatch we were discussing. This is the same hatch they used to enter the spacecraft on launch day in August. And of course, this is different from the top hatch. You can not see that because it's underneath the nose cone at the very top of the spacecraft.